So the Copenhagen Wolves always seem to find good AD carries, even when people think they are done. This is it, they're never gonna find a replacement who's good enough. They always seem to find someone. So the very first generation of Copenhagen Wolves League of Legends was with myself and the Tess. And we managed to qualify for the very first LCS, especially with the Tess playing so well in the qualifier here. And the Tess is just tearing them apart. He picks up a double, he picks up a triple. Can he get the quadra? Just an arcane ship will do it. No, there's the quadra kill from the Tess. And he just destroys Millennium. Fast forward here, completely different Copenhagen Wolves lineup. We now have the lineup with Kautard, with Youngbuck. Reckless was part of it while he still was part of Fnatic. Reckless were pretty known when we picked him up. He was playing with Fnatic in a couple of big tournaments in uh, the States. We basically just borrowed him for the time being. I knew I was just playing for a limited time. Until I turned 17, I was able to join Fnatic. So I really like every one of them. They're one of my closest friends like around here. So I want the best for them. I want them to be successful. So once he left, and once Shook left the Copenhagen Wolves lineup back then, everyone was like, you know what, this is it, they're done, the two biggest stars, they're gone. They managed to pick up Forgiven, who was one of the best AD carries in Europe in the last split. Oh, the Sonic Wave didn't land, and now Amazing's in trouble, he's taking another tower hit, but he gets away with the safeguard. Oh! oh! From downtown, Forgiven uses the rocket straight on the tower. Now Forgiven is gone, people once again said there's no way they're gonna replace this guy. They find Woolite, and now he's playing so well in the LCS. He was probably the best AD pickup from Soloki you could get, because he's a very young player, has very strong mechanical play. Diamond has come back in, he may pay the ultimate price. A double kill coming out for Woolite, there's another one. Well that is a 4 for 2 in favor of the Wolves. I think for starters, there are many good AD cards in Europe. Everyone wants to get to LCS or to go to Challenger team. It's like a two-sided coin where good players come in, they play for a while and they leave. I hope that they find the right five players uh, as soon as possible and Woolite and Aerox might be the right choices. Every time I had to change AD carry, I didn't care about their personality, I didn't care about what they think. I, I was prepared to get used to play with them, so maybe that helps to get used to different AD carries and that's why every AD carry I played with played so well. Yeah, definitely they have a good eye for the carries in Challenger scene. I'm definitely happy.